ads on threads are here. They are now available in your meta ads account. And some of you might actually already be advertising on threads and you just don't know it. To be honest, getting started with ads on threads is pretty simple. There's not a lot that goes into it. It's pretty similar to running on Instagram, but there are some compatibility issues with these early campaigns for threads. So in this video, we want to walk through how to get started advertising on threads and talk about some things that might be roadblocks. To run ads on threads, you don't actually have to have a dedicated threads profile. You can run ads using your Facebook and Instagram page, just in the same way that you've always been able to run Instagram ads by using your Facebook page as the identity. But personally, I think it's probably a better user experience if you're going to advertise on any platform to have an organic presence on that platform. So to get started with threads, creating a profile is super easy, but the key is you have to have an Instagram account already set up. If we scroll down here a little bit, you can see that to create a profile on threads, you need to sign in with your Instagram account. And if you don't have one, it says create an Instagram account first, not create a threads profile from scratch. So just keep that in mind that you need to have some presence on Instagram, but just like you would for any other platform, you can create a thread account for every Instagram profile that you have. Whether you're gonna do this process from a computer or if you're gonna do it from your phone through either the Android or iPhone app, the steps are gonna be pretty similar. Effectively, you need to go to threads.com or the Threads app, and then you're gonna use your Instagram account to log in. Then you can start to customize your profile, bio, link, all that sort of thing. It'll default to utilizing the information you have for Instagram, but you can customize those and adjust them for your Threads profile. Once you have all that squared away, if you want your ads to come from the Instagram or Threads profile as opposed to Facebook, like I mentioned earlier, you're gonna to need to make sure that Instagram is linked to your Meta Ads Manager. And you can do that by checking out the video in the top of the screen right now. But then once you have your profiles linked, we can start setting up our campaigns. Thread ads are super simple to set up and you can utilize that platform in a few different ways. Let's go ahead and create a new campaign. We're going to choose traffic for this one. We'll talk about why here in just a minute. I'm going to the manual traffic campaign because that's what I like to use. And then we don't need to do anything else at the campaign level. So let's click next. But the first thing we need to do is choose website as the conversion location. Any of the types of campaigns that you're using for threads, you need to use website as the conversion location or as the destination location for your ads. Again, we'll talk about that here in a minute. But if we scroll down all the way at the bottom to the placement section, here you can see we've got a nice little pop-up introducing ads on threads. So that already kind of gave away where everything is. But if you want to leave everything in the Advantage Plus placements, meaning you're going to run across all of Meta's placements that your ads have the ability to show, you're going to be opted into threads by default. But if you want to see how that shows up or customize placements, you just need to click on edit, scroll down to click manual placements. And if you open this list up, you can see all of the different locations that your ads can show. And the only place for threads is going to be this threads feed. If I were to uncheck all the boxes next to all of the other platforms that are available through a meta ads campaign, you would see that threads is the only one here. I would scroll down. That's the only one checked. But one adjustment that you need to make is going to be up here in this right hand column. If you'd like your ad shown in the threads feed, you also need to select Instagram feed as a placement. So we would need to check this box here. Now the error has gone away. We can run ads on threads, but you also have to opt into the Instagram feed. So this is one of those limitations where you can't run ads only on threads. You have to also be opted into the Instagram feed as well. Once you've got all the rest of your targeting, campaign setting, all that stuff set up, we can head into the ad creative itself. And since we're in a live client account, we need to blur this out, so I apologize for that. But at the identity level for your meta ads that you have set up, you'll be able to see that you have the Facebook page, Instagram account, and the Threads profile all available to be selected from the dropdowns. And I didn't do anything specific with this Threads profile other than make sure that the Instagram account was linked. So by default, the Threads profile that is associated with the Instagram account will show up here. Sometimes you have to manually opt into it. Other times it pre-populates just like this one did. We can then see the preview for each of the placements that we've got. So first we've got Instagram feed because that's what we're opted into. And then next over here, 
Again, I'm sorry, even though the image itself and the company are blurred out, you can see the preview for what this ad would look like on threads. So overall, very similar to what you would see on any of the other platforms. You still have your primary text, your image, your headline, all that good stuff. And then once your ad's been running for a while, you will be able to see the performance of threads compared to everything else. Since this is just a placeholder campaign, I'm gonna X out of it. We'll get all the way back up to the front, get all the way back up to the campaigns tab, just because this is the easiest one. We don't really have to blur much out. But then if you head over to breakdown, you can then scroll down to placement from the dropdown. And then if your ads are eligible to be shown on threads, you will see that performance showing up here next to all of the different Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and audience network places that are eligible. Now, in this account, don't have anything showing up on threads, and this is gonna be a good segue into the limitations that come with thread ads. The easiest way to cover these is to be in the About Ads in Threads help article from Facebook. If we scroll down just a little bit here, the first thing that I wanna call out and the reason that my campaigns are not showing on threads is because there's only three campaign objectives that are eligible to show in thread ads. Awareness, traffic, which is the one we selected for the example campaign, and sales. All of my campaigns are based on leads. So none of my campaigns currently are eligible to show in the threads placements, which is why I don't have any data to show you. But if you wanna run your ads on threads, you have to make sure that whether it's awareness, traffic or sales, you use one of these three campaign objectives. Otherwise your ads will not be eligible to show in those placements and you won't have the option to be on that platform. There are some other limitations or things to be aware of for thread ads. You can run image and video ads on the platform. For the most part, these look very similar to what you would see for a normal single image or video ad on the Meta platform. You can use PNG or JPEG. The aspect ratio anywhere between 1.91 to 1 to 9 by 16 are supported. They also want to use 1 to 1 where possible. They recommend the resolution being 1400 by 1400, but you still have the primary text, which is the intro text, and then a headline. You'll see there's no description available for these thread ads, but additionally, not all of the call to action buttons that are associated with regular meta ads campaigns are available on threads just yet. And even though your call to action might not show up, especially with video ads, you're still required to have the call to action selected because that's what's gonna show on the Instagram feed, which if you'll remember, you have to opt into if you wanna run on threads. One other thing to pay attention to, threads might feel to some degree very similar to the app formerly known as Twitter, now known as X, but you cannot use hashtags in the primary text, nor can you use URLs for thread ads in the primary text. A lot of the same types of limitations will show up for video ads. You've got different file types, MP4, MOV, GIF. All the aspect ratios are gonna be the same. Resolution is pretty close, 1440 by 1800. Your primary text and headlines are gonna be the same and you still can't use all of the call to action buttons. You're still not allowed to use hashtags or URLs in the primary text. But additionally, video captions are not yet supported. This to me means you will be able to use them at some point, we just can't do it quite yet. Overall, the ad specs are pretty similar. The biggest limitation we've talked about so far is just campaign objective, but there are some other incompatibilities, and I think it's really helpful that Meta calls it out just in this easy table. So for ad options, you cannot use Advantage Plus Creative, Dynamic Creative, or Dynamic Language Optimization for thread ads. Those are incompatibilities at this moment. You can't use the ad types of Advantage Plus catalog ads or partnership ads for threads. You have to create a brand new post. You cannot use an existing post or boost a post from Instagram. Carousel ads and collection ads are not currently supported. Only the single image and video creative we just talked about. And the reason I called out choosing website as your conversion location or the destination for your ads is because only website is supported for the destination for thread ads currently. My guess is over time, they'll start to add in things like lead generation forms, messenger profiles, all this sort of thing. For right now, you're only able to send users to the website to create any further actions from your thread campaigns. Overall, this is likely not a groundbreaking shift for any advertiser, but it just gives us another platform to reach our target audience in with the backing of the Meta Ads machine learning and all of the different tools that even though they're not currently available, 
will likely eventually become available for advertising to those users on this additional platform. By default, my theory is probably the same for thread ads that it was for Instagram or any of the new reels and stories placements when those were new, because yes, I've been in the industry for quite a while, is that why not let your ads run on threads? The entire goal is to target your target audience wherever they are. All of the audience settings are the same for thread ads that you can use for your Instagram and Facebook campaigns. So why not give it a test? Check out the performance in the breakdown section of the interface and let the performance decide for you whether or not threads is a good placement for you to be. If you have any additional questions about running ads on threads or anything else in the Meta Ads platform, leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.